I recently purchased these calipers for the front because the left front caliper was bad and I needed to replace them anyway. But now I have these pretty red front calipers and dingy black back calipers. So I'm gonna change that today by painting these red. This is the kit that I'm gonna use. Now, they didn't send this to me. This is not sponsored. I just got this because it was highly rated. Plus they have all these neat colors. Anyway, what comes in the box is a can of brake clean, a can of paint, and a can of, or a bottle of this activator. Also, a popsicle stick to stir things with, and just one of these brushes, which I think is insufficient. So I went to Harbor Freight and picked up a whole package of these for like four bucks. When I did the rebuild, I coated this with some black rust encapsulator paint. Uh, there's still some chunks and things on there, and I want to try and get those off before I add this paint. So I'm going to use this wire brush to do that. And I figure now that it's still bolted up is like the best time to do it. I had the calipers removed from both sides, but I'm also going to remove these shims that are on here so that I don't get any paint on those. You can remove these rubber boots after you remove these pins, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna mask this area. I'm brushing this on, I'm not spray painting it. But the thing now is to get this as clean as possible before applying the paint, because any dirt or grease or anything that's underneath here uh, could compromise that paint job in the future. Everything is prepped and masked. I've taken this part of the caliper and, and hung it up here uh, just because it's easier to get to everything. Over here on the pilot, the only thing that I masked off was a bleeder valve because I don't want paint getting down in there. One more addition, and that is something to hold this up in a way while it dries. And I think this bungee cord works nicely. Next, we get to do the paint. And that means mixing the reactor with the paint, getting it all mixed up really good. You get about four to six hours worth of working time between, I think it was 50 to 70 degrees. Anything more than 70 degrees and more humidity means there's gonna be less working time. Uh, there should be enough paint here to cover four calipers. I'm only doing two, so I should be more than good. Uh, the other thing is, is once you're done with this paint, it's done. You, you can't reuse it, so you can't put it back on the shelf. But I'm going to mix it up now and start applying it. Stuff is very red. Okay. Mix this stuff in. And then we'll just continually apply layers until I've got the coverage that I want. Now, keep in mind, the only thing you're really gonna see is this outside part here, so you don't need like super coverage on all of it. So you can really sort of pick and choose where you decide to put it. But I need two hands, so I'm gonna put you down and we'll check back in after I've got this all coated. Here's the end result. I let it sit overnight. It, I really only did one coat, I really didn't need to, but I did go back over these parts that are most visible uh, with a second coat. And here's the finished product. I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah, I did get a little bit on the break hose there and, and such. If uh, I were to make a couple of recommendations, one would be to lubricate the slide pins with silicone paste. I've done videos about uh, brake servicing in the past. I would also recommend replacing these shims, uh, especially if you're replacing the brake pads when you do this. But I think what would make an even better finished product was if you got remanufactured calipers and then painted them first. That way you wouldn't have all this chunkiness here from the rust and corrosion that was on here. Other than that, you know, I think it turned out pretty well. And the fact that you could do all those different colors, I think is cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty.